everyone, welcome to my living room. I'm Karen Bond, the founder and creative director of House of Bond, the interior design firm that you guys know so well, based out of Vancouver. And with all of us spending so much time at home in recent weeks, I wanna give you guys a few tips on how you can freshen up your living room space. tip, let's talk about work. I know a lot of us are at home working and if you don't have a separate area for an office or a home office, then I would highly recommend creating one zone that's dedicated just for work. In my case, where I've got a big living room sectional that can easily seat six people, I can dedicate one corner of this area for work only. And that means this is the area where you can have all of your tech, like your computer, your phones, notebooks, stuff like that. Anything that you would need for work stays and lives here. If you don't have a big sectional like this, but you've got a club chair or a little area that you can designate to work, even if it's a big pillow that you put on the floor and you use your coffee table with your laptop, anything that's just devoted to work is really gonna help you compartmentalize work from lounging. For another tip that I have, an easy way to introduce new accessories and lighten and brighten your space is always with things like throw pillows, blankets, accessories that you can switch out for the season. I've actually incorporated some new throw pillows on my sofa. This one is from CB2. It's a cute little white pillow. It's got some color. I love the pop of color for spring. I've also brought out a new throw. This is a nice knit. I mean, it's still kind of cool in Vancouver and we need our cozy blankets at night when we're lounging and binging Netflix. Another addition to my sofa is this great pillow. So again, this is a beautiful, light, creamy color. It feels a little bohemian. I love this because it adds a little personality to my living room space, but it also adds to that light, bright character that I'm going after right now for spring. Let's talk about greenery. With us being at home so much, I especially love the idea of bringing the outdoors inside. I've incorporated a new little coffee table plant. This is actually a mini orange tree. I love that it's already budding fruit. It really makes me feel like there's a life inside my home other than myself and my husband and Oscar. Now I've just placed my little orange tree inside a white pot, keeping with the theme of spring, bringing in lightness and freshness into my home. This white pot is from the Plant Junkie. And speaking of the Plant Junkie, I had this great bird of paradise palm delivered to me by the plant junkie. She is based out of Vancouver and sells amazing plants, amazing pots. I've got this great matte black big pot for this plant. What I love about the black is that it plays off of all the black in my house. You guys know that I have a black kitchen, a black fireplace. So I love the connection of all of those elements with this pot. I love that this plant is large, it's vibrant, it's lush. It really feels like I'm bringing the outdoors inside with something like this. So if you're at home and you're wanting to freshen up your space, well, you can have it delivered. So greenery is a great way to liven up your space for spring. Another tip is essential oils and a diffuser. I am obsessed with having your space smell great and I love essential oils. This diffuser is from Sage and what I love about this diffuser is that not only is it sleek, beautiful, it's white, it's a great decor piece, but also super functional. 
Now, the thing with essential oils is that they can have a huge impact on your mood. So I've got a few different blends that are from Sage. One of my favorites is Rainforest. It's almost like a eucalyptus. Um, I think there's some mint in there and it's just a really calming blend. On the other hand, Golden Hour, this is more uplifting. There's citrus in here, and any time that I have golden hour in my diffuser, I always just feel really good. What I love about the Art Naturals oils is that they're pure scent. So for example, this is just eucalyptus. I have essential oils that are just lavender, just grapefruit, and I love being able to really identify different scents and make my own blends. So both of these are incredible. I love having essential oils going and a diffuser going, and that is a great way to liven and freshen up your space at any time of the day. Let's talk about the items on your coffee table. Now, this is a great opportunity to clean out clutter, remove the things that have maybe been lingering around all winter, freshen up your space, and bring out the things that you really absolutely love. I have some of my favorite candle holders from CB2 on my coffee table. I love being able to just set a different mood in the evening. And I also have a few crystals on my coffee table. The thing with crystals is that they're known for bringing up great energy, for cleansing energy in a space, but also emitting good energy. So the large one is one that I bought and the small one was actually a gift. A friend gave it to me. They're so pretty to look at. They're great decor pieces, but who doesn't need good energy in their homes right now? And last but not least, bring out a few items that you really love that have nothing to do with watching TV. So I've pulled out a few books that I'm really keen on reading. You could bring out some board games. By having some things like books on your coffee table, it will inspire you to read more. So get some things into your space that you really, really love and that you're interested in. Okay, you guys, so there you have it. My seven tips for livening and freshening your living room space right now while we're all spending so much time at home. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, share it with your friends and with anyone who might need some great tips on freshening up their living room space.